Guys, thank you so much for having us. Um, thank you. Yeah, it's great to be here. Because I love the restaurant. It's, uh, it's super cool. So um, you guys are doing a great job here. And, you know, it's great to see. So um, yeah, I suppose I just wanted to sort of understand a little bit more about where you guys have come from, what you've been doing over the years, and um, you know, what brings you to Dubai, I guess. You go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got the best feel out of both of us. Um, the connection, I think, comes from you. Yeah, okay. So, um, Mohammed Zal is the property developer here yeah. um, and he owns the restaurants and everything. His wife and I went to school together. Wow, Yeah. very so, cool. So, um, that's how we knew each other um, and then basically, yeah, I mean we hadn't been in touch for that long or anything and uh, we were travelling in Europe at the time and they sent us a message over Facebook asking us wow. <laughs> if we wanted to be involved. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we said no. <laughs> there was a lot going on at the time. Yeah. And, uh, but that was back in Melbourne, right? No, we oh. were, so after we went Melbourne, Perth, because we, we moved from Melbourne yeah. to Perth to open yeah. a restaurant there. Yeah, you said that, yeah. And yeah, then, cool. yeah. 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 So we're kind of going that way around the world. Wow, amazing. <laughs> America's next, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, obviously you've you've come over here and you know, you've you know, blown a lot of people away with the food that you guys are doing. Um, you know, it's taken the city by storm, I guess. Um, where, what's the inspiration from it? It's definitely ingredient focused. It always has been the last kind of five or six years. Yeah. The restaurants have been working at yeah. it's always been very ingredient led. Yeah. Um, so it was all about just kind of finding what Dubai had that we yeah. could kind of potentially tap into and kind of showcase in our menus. Yeah. Mm. No, very cool. And so your time, I want to go back to your, sort of your time in Australia because you worked mm -hmm. for some very famous chefs back then. Do you guys draw inspiration from back in those days and bring them to Dubai in any way? Definitely. Definitely. Um, not obviously like as in stealing dishes or anything, yeah. but um, just the philosophy beh behind the food is still the same. Yeah. I mean, Andrew McConnell had, his, had the same philosophy. Yeah. Um, find amazing ingredients. He tr like, I know when I was working there, I tried ingredients and saw ingredients that I'd never seen before in my life, and I didn't think that that would be possible. Yeah. Um, and so, and that was, you know, in Australia where I'd grown up. And, yeah. Know, yeah. So, are you finding any of those ingredients are available here? Some. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, not, getting there. Not the ones that we've been used to finding in Australia. Yeah. Um, but slowly, we're finding bits and pieces which have kind of given us, you know, little glimpses of hope. To kind of say, oh, that's if you can find this herb or this radish, then yeah. potentially we could find some other things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, I mean, here we have access to more like mushrooms and stuff from Europe and these kind of things that we didn't have access to in Australia. Course, yeah. So while yeah. we may not have, you know, we may not be able to get some of those interesting yeah. ingredients we had there, we've got a whole new field yeah. of ingredients. Yeah, very yeah. exciting. Yeah. yeah, totally opposite seasons, right? Yeah. 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 So what was the initial brief and why did you come up with low? The brief? Yeah, uh, I'm low to... was actually an idea that we had for yeah. our own uh, restaurants in Australia. Yeah. So yeah. we've got kind of in the memory bank, uh, been talking about several different concepts we'd like to open up uh, if we were to open up in Australia, and and Lowe was one of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was yeah very casual organic dining. Um, yeah, yeah. Food produced by fire. Yeah. Natural wow. cooking, charcoal, wood fire. We we really enjoyed doing things naturally yeah. over wood. Um, so it kind of fit in Dubai. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 What's the name mean? Oh, so low means a warm light, especially produced by fire. Wow. Yeah. That's so so cool. it fits. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. And so what, what are you loving about Dubai at the moment? And why, why did you even choose to come to Dubai? Yeah, having that, that freedom to, to, to uh, do what we always wanted to do yeah. uh, in terms of our food visions. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, they put a lot of trust in us as Kate was saying. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's been great. Obviously, you've got so many different handcrafted elements to the restaurant. Mm. Um, how did all that come about? Was did you guys have an initial idea of the color tones and, and why you chose all these clay mud type looking bowls? Um, well, we wanted it to be really earthy. Yeah. I mean, we wanted to go back to the fire. Yeah. You know, keeping it natural, yeah. stay earthy, yeah. stay casual. We didn't want anything shiny or glossy. Um, so we're trying to go for minimal glaze um, a lot of, pieces. A lot of handmade pieces. Definitely and I pottery. do pottery. Yeah. Really? So basically, yeah. oh, that's cool. we do pottery and we made um, all our own plates and bowls. Mm. 
Um, and so the lady who we got to teach us, we got her to make a lot for the restaurant. Wow. Um, and then just some other really interesting ones. Also because NASA, the co-working space that we're attached to, or next to, is um, about bringing creative individuals together. Yeah. And there's a lot of art and everything through there, so it made sense to also bring that kind of artistic element into the restaurant mm -hmm. by having this amazing, beautiful crockery that you can't find anywhere else. So it sort of brings the two brands together. Mm. So you're literally going into all the little tiny details in this restaurant then, hey? Yeah. <laughs> That's very, no, it's very cool. Yeah. And um, what's the, um, what, like with the layout of the restaurants, um, the, the dining style that you guys are trying to get across to customers, how's the feedback been about, you know, the type of dining that you want people to do here? The feedback has been really, really positive. Mm. Uh, you can't please everyone. Mm. So, uh, and we're not out here to please everybody. Yeah. Um, so we just, we just want to cook real food. Good, real food. Uh, we're trying to feed people. We're not yeah. trying to overly impress people. We just want to cook fish properly. We want to cook a steak properly. Yeah. Piece yeah. of carrot yeah. or the radish or whatever yeah. it is. Um, doing the simple things properly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, just best food. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the other one I wanted to talk to you about was um, all your ingredients um, yeah. and specifically what you actually source locally um, and what challenges you have faced around sourcing local ingredients. Yeah, uh, we definitely source a lot of local seafood. Yeah. Um, finding it a little bit difficult to source you know, your, your fruit and veg. Uh, we are working with a couple of growers, uh, mm -hmm. local growers, um, but we're just finding out, obviously moving into summer, that things are coming, becoming a little bit more difficult to, yeah. to source the things um, that everyone else sources seasonally. Yeah. Um, so what do you guys think about EDXB and what we're trying to do with EDXB about bringing the food community together um, and tackling, you know, some certain you know issues that are, are around in the in the in the food industry here where there might be ingredient um, you know, accessibility and things like that um, but also celebrating you know a lot of the positive things as well well i think it's really cool because when we first came here um, we got in contact with one chef who we met um, and he was super helpful. We, I mean, we definitely want to be a part of that group of people who are supporting each other. We're not here yeah. to, yeah. you know, for yeah. anything else. Yeah, there, there definitely needs to be a platform like this. Uh, we've, we've been a part of def definitely uh, familiar or similar initiatives in Australia. Um, and it's been a really good opportunity for not only kind of business owners or head chefs like that, uh, to come together and talk about, you know, not necessarily produce or ingredients, yeah. but also talk about the, you know, mental health issues, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, I think um, it, would, it would definitely be good to talk about um, training and mentorship mentorship programs because there's no yeah. apprenticeships here. Yeah. So that's been like, I think that's probably been the biggest eye opener for us coming yeah. here and having, chefs who haven't done an apprenticeship and haven't trained that way yeah. um so you know if that's something that can be yes. worked on yeah. worked on between a group of chefs here if you yeah. can cross train you know yeah. send your chefs to another restaurant take another chef and really develop um the skill sets, their skill sets yeah. and Definitely. talent here because also as what we've found a lot is people have been trained just to do one thing yeah and then they're not shown how to yeah. do more so they yeah. never grow yeah. and then they can never become yeah. a better chef yeah they get stuck in one section exactly. for two years three years at a time and yeah yeah move on and then yeah and that's just not yeah. how we are i mean yeah. i we both of us have worked every section in every restaurant um and i think it's very important and so it would be really cool if everybody can get together and do something like that yeah, 100%. yeah. over the years trained a lot of chefs in my restaurants and and um you know it's always been about trying to get them moving around the sections because it's only better for everybody mm. you know if that person's developing uh, in an easier and better way yeah so another one of the things that i wanted to touch on was obviously this is a destination we're, mm. we're sitting in alberari in the farm right now cold by canvas um it does take 20 to 30 minutes uh, to get out here. Yeah. Um, you know, it is a destination restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I really think that we need a restaurant that's that you have to make the effort to go to for that yeah. experience. Yeah. That's what's so cool about this place, I think. Yeah. I mean, everybody keeps referring to it as a destination, and I do agree we are a little bit further, but I think it's also a perception thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's because you drive between, you know, you drive past nothing to get here. Yeah. But it still yeah. really only takes 20 minutes. That's true. And that's when true. you drive from Marina to downtown, yeah. it takes like 15 minutes. So yeah. that's been, I think that's probably the biggest barrier we have. Yeah. Trying to 
Yeah. Overcome people's perception yeah, of that. Yeah, trying to overcome people's perception yeah. of that because we're really not that far away. Yeah. But at the same point, I mean, when you come here, I certainly feel like I'm in a different city or, you know, I've escaped from the city. And, and yeah, totally. That's what yes. I feel. And future plans for the restaurant, just keep on doing what you're doing and try and uh, continually change the menu seasonally and things yeah. like that. So we're changing the menu just after Ramadan. Yep. Um, and. I mean, we'll continue to change the menu all the way through. Yeah, we yeah. try and change it every three months. Yeah. Um, and we are planning to open another restaurant. Wow. Um, which early is days. just Yeah, wow. very early days. Which <laughs> is, um, really only, <laughs> but it's only 20 seats and there's no menu. Wow. That's all I can say. <laughs> that sounds exciting. Um, yeah, but besides that, just focus on, I mean, we're so new here yeah. and we really need to focus on just getting, um, making sure everybody has a really good experience when yeah. they come to Lowe. Yeah. So. yeah, amazing. Cool yeah. guys, well I'm really looking forward to tonight. Um, we've got some of the best chefs in Dubai coming. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a good night. Yeah, cool. cool. Thank Thanks you. a lot. No Cheers, high <laughs> 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 uh, Okay, are we good? Good, 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 good